Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian with Superman's Comics. Got a different video for you today. I just got in the mail this Topps 2021 baseball. This is the Jumbo Hobby Box. It's got 10 packs, 46 cards per pack. And here you get, uh, it says you get one autograph and two relic cards, but that's not all. There's a bunch of different parallels in the Topps baseball series this year. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys to take a look at right now. I got this box. I pre-ordered it off of blowoutcards.com. We're gonna move over to the table, open this up, and see what we got in this jumbo, jumbo, jumbo hobby box. All right, here's the Topps Hobby Jumbo Box, as I was stating before. And it, it's guaranteed one autograph and two relics. And like I stated previously, there's actually a lot of other parallels in here as well. And then here you get 10 packs, 46 cards per pack. So we're gonna open this up and see what we get. Just in case I do have some Ultra Pro top loaders as well as some Ultra Pro card sleeves. Uh, top, it says one 1951 Tops Major League All-Stars box loader. Here we got a Fernando Tatis. That's pretty cool. He's also tops card number one this year. And we also got hobby exclusive. So we got Steven Strasburg. Sanchez. Ooh, Mike Yastrzemski. Big Giants fan, so I'm happy to get that. And we got a auto there. Joey Botto. Matt Chapman. Randy Johnson. Pretty cool Jackie Robinson card. I like this 86 tops theme they got going there. I think that's pretty cool. It's one of the years where I was first collecting cards. Really uh, mostly 87, but went back and picked up a lot of 86 cards, especially like the tops traded, the Bo Jacksons and the Barry Bonds, of course. Back when I was really into collecting. Larry Garcia. Robert Abreu. Justin Verlander. ODU grad. Represent 757. These are pretty nice cards though. I do like, you know, I understand Bowman seems to be ranked supreme when it comes to baseball cards, but Tops is actually pretty nice. Uh, definitely classic. They're celebrating uh, 70 years this year, so that's pretty cool. They did have a big live stream launch in the Tops series this year. I don't know if you guys watched that as I'm there all over Facebook, Mark McGuire, a bunch of other players on there opening up packs. Brandon Belak just received a 1986 Topps Baseball autograph card from Topps 20 from 2021 Topps Baseball. Let's set that over here. Cody Bellinger. That's pretty sweet. Justin Verlander through the years. 2005 Topps Chrome autograph card. The first Topps Chrome set came out swinging in 1996 with Derek Jeter rookie card highlighting the checklist. Uh, 
Vladimir Guerrero, Jesus Aguilar, Bryce Harper, Names are awfully small on here. I'm sure you probably can't even read them on there, but it's, I mean, it's hard enough that and I'm not getting any younger, but awesome. I'm excited for baseball to start up again. Hopefully we get a full season, right? Although my, my, my Giants aren't predicted to do that well. I think they're predicted to finish fourth in division. Of course, uh, Dodgers predicted. San Diego, of course. San Diego, they're predicting San Diego do have a better year, at least in the NL West. So. Gavin Lux, rookie. Just like to keep the rookies uh, separate. And like I said, my heyday of collecting was in the 90s. Still just getting back into cards. So it's all relatively new to me, especially with all the different parallels, refractors, the one of ones, the on card auto versus the sticker auto. But I'm enjoying the journey so far. So uh, <laughs> bear with me as I'm still a beginner getting back into these cards here. But. Uh, there's another rookie, Nico Horner. David Peterson. Speaking of Mets, um, Dave Wright, another guy from the 757. Not that it had anything to do with that card, but the Mets remind me of David Wright. Around Mount Castle. Daniel Murphy, Evan Wright. Evan Longoria. Oh, Roger Clemens there. Christian Javier, Roberto Clemente, that's a pretty cool card, nice little throwback. Also, while you watch this, let me know in the comments below, who, who's your favorite team and who do you think is going to win the World Series this year? Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> Trevor Williams. Mookie Betts. So far, and by all means, feel free to comment if there's a card overlooked, because <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Actually, overlooked a Saquon Barkley auto card once before when first box I opened up. <laughs> I thought the back of the card was the front, but. Chris Sabo, just kidding. Do it for the fans. Cutouts. <laughs> what do you guys think of cutouts in the games this past year? Do you think it helped the game, or would you prefer not have the cutouts in there? Um, 
a little bit of both, right? Uh, sometimes I liked it, but it still doesn't have the same feel. There's a lot of sports that I didn't watch just because the, the, I think the fans add so much to the experience. But um, I understand you got to do what you got to do. The game must go on. And I'll tell you what, looking at these cards makes me realize how long it's been since I've actually really collected baseball cards. And it's bad when I got the throwback cards are like once I'm used to. Like, there we go, Kirby Puckett. 1984 Fleer update. I remember that still is a nice book, uh, nice card to have, but I do, like I said, I like that 86 tops throwback. Another one through the years. Kyle Lewis. Brandon Kinsler. Garrett Cole. Yeah, I definitely don't like how the names are on the cards, though. It's like squished font. I do think it's cool how the little the 70th Tops logo up there. Kind of foil. Lewis Robert. I know Tops. Um, the site actually had hobby boxes on their site uh, this past week. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine. That's the cheapest I've seen them. And they sold out rather quick. I was actually able to order a box of those as well. My brother's a huge diehard baseball fan. So I got him a box because I knew after I sent him the link, he would take his sweet ass time getting to it and tell me that they were sold out. So then guess what happened? He responded, said they were sold out. And I told him, I got you a box. So he's pretty excited about that. At least he should be. I'll tell you what. I should... Being his good graces right there. Another rookie. Future stars, Justin Dunn. Joey Bart. One of my favorite players right now. They say he's not going to get much playing time this year so far. They want to see him get a little bit better. We'll see. I like seeing him get called up last year, though. Still a Buster Posey fan. Florida State and the Giants? That's a twofer right there. Speaking of which, there's our Buster Posey. Frazier. Sixto Sanchez, rookie. Register for challenge two to one home run derby. Home run challenge, Chris Bryant. Labor Torres. Ichiro. Pete Alonzo. Yadier yeah, yeah, Molina. Aaron Judge. Marvin Gonzalez. Brandon Woodruff. 
post game post game hand wash clean hands needed <laughs> You Darvish. At least the packs aren't too hard to open. <laughs> I've had packs of cards where it's like, holy cow. It's Panini contenders, I'm telling you. Miguel Cabrera. Trevor Bauer. Don't think he's with that team anymore now. Bronson. Whit Merrifield. Michael Taylor. Chadwick Twomp. Number 362 out of 499. Pretty cool card. Mike Trout. That's pretty cool. George Brett card. Another Yastrzemski. Pull him as high just because favorite player. One of my favorite players, I guess you could say. I'm not a big fan of these, like, as a regular Chadwick Trump. Kevin Gossman. I can't believe how expensive just retail prices for cards are right now. It's freaking crazy. But it makes you excited about the hobby. Excited to get back into the hobby, I guess you could say. I've been doing a lot of comics the past few years. Like a, most of the cards I have <laughs> aren't worth as much because it's from 80s and 90s. But they still remind me of my childhood, so I'm still happy to have them. The future stars. MLB Spring Training Otani. That's pretty cool. 
Spring Train Cap Logo Patch Card. Bryce Harper. Francisco Lindo. That's a pretty cool card, too. That don't look like Will Smith. Getting jiggy with it. Gonzalez, Mike Trout, people probably watching like, move that box, you keep hitting it, mess up your cards. Boba Shea, Boba Fett. <laughs> Corbin. Jackie Robinson. I think it's a cool card. Stars in service. Brandon Crawford. Junior. Nothing too. Of course, since I flipped the whole thing over, it's going to go back. <laughs> I knew it. Fourteen oh five out of twenty twenty one, Charlie Morton. There we go, Joey Bart, Jackie Robinson, Platinum Players.
Brett Saberhagen. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so we got two packs left. Get that one of one. Tristan McKenzie, he needs to eat a sandwich. Kyle Lewis patch card, 1986 Topps Relic card. Joey Votto, Miguel Cabrera. Clint Kershaw. Hands up, masks up. Juan Soto. Mookie Betts, 2020 World Series. I was hoping Tampa would win that World Series. That's the thing is like, do you, the teams in the same division as your team, do you root for the division or because they're rivals, do you root against the other team? I root for the other team. Now, if it's college, I usually root for the conference. Mr. Posey. I wonder how many more years he has. Well, that was a pretty cool card. And of course, got the Strasburg Sanchez. I, it's probably one of my favorite cards is the, the Yaz there. Rafael Devers, autograph. Jay Botto. Randy Johnson. Jackie Robinson. Clemente card was pretty cool. And those other. 86 top throwback got Juan Soto, Joey Votto, Joey Bart, another Jackie Robinson, Bryce Harper, Brandon Bialik, Cody Bellinger, Christian Javier, Roger Clemens, Mike Trout, Kirby Puckett. Got the Kyle Lewis relic card and then the Otani spring training relic card or patch card they call it. And then, of course, got the Jackie Robinson, George Brett, 70th die cuts. But there it is, guys. There is the hobby jumbo box. Let me know what you guys think. And pretty exciting. Like I said, just getting back into baseball cards again. So relatively new. So I'm sorry if this was painful box break. But I'm going to do more on this channel and get better at it because I like getting back into this hobby. With that being said, guys, it's Brian from Mass Comics. See you guys in the next video.